G'day everybody, I hope this finds you well, as well as you possibly can be, certainly at the moment. I just wanted to follow up quickly on a, on, a, on a series of videos that I've put up over the last couple of weeks. The first of which was what's going on at the moment in this crazy world of 2020. The second is, well, what do we do about it? And the third is, well, today, how do we manage? And uh, this morning during my meditation, a concept came to me that I first came across about 20 years ago that has really, really helped me at different periods of time in my life where I've needed to, to dig deep and find some resilience. And it's, 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 it's out of Jim Collins' book, Good to Great. And Jim Collins was interviewing a, an American prisoner of war called Admiral James Stockdale. And, and, and Admiral Stockdale was a, was a prisoner of war during Vietnam for eight, eight years, count them. And, and, and Jim Collins was asking him how he actually got through those years and, and he came up with the Stockdale paradox. So the first part of it that Admiral James Stockdale did was, was he had to confront the most brutal facts of his reality, whatever they were. Birthdays would come and go, Christmas would come and go eight times. And, and Stockdale knew he wasn't getting out, and so he accepted that challenge as it was given to him. And the second part of it, at the same time, what he had to do was to retain faith that in the end he would prevail. And he did, and he went on to live uh, a, a, a long and, and successful and happy life because of his approach to his frightening situation. Uh, like I said, it's helped me get through a few tough times in your life, uh, in my life. I hope it, I hope it might help you over the next couple of weeks or perhaps months if it lasts this long in yours. If you'd like a copy of the piece that I've I've written on, on the Stockdale paradox, please send me an email and I'll be sure to return it to you. Otherwise, look after yourselves and take care, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.